Hello everyone, today we are going to study chapter number 5th, fraction problem set number 20 and 21 we are going to complete in today's video. So in today's video, we are going to learn about how to add and subtract the fractions. It is very easy children, simple addition and subtraction you all have to carry. So let's start with the first question. So the first question from the textbook is you all can go through the examples that are being given on page number 27. Same questions we are solving. So, the first question is 1 upon 5 plus 3 upon 5. Alright, so the first thing is the denominators should be equal. Okay, so when the denominators are equal, you all have to write it only once. Okay, so 1 plus 3, then you all can write it together under one line. Okay, so this is 1 plus 3, 4 upon 5. Got it children? Isn't it easy? Now the next one is 2 plus 4 upon 7. Again the denominators are same. So let's write it once. 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is going to be 6 upon 7. Got it? Now the third sum is 7 plus 2 upon 12. Okay. So, the denominators are equal. So, let's write it once. 7 plus 2. So, 7 plus 2, 8 and 9. So, 9 upon 12. Now, over here, you all have to watch children whether it can be reduced. Reduced matlab, it has to be divided. Okay, you all can say it reduced also or you all can divide it also. So, both the numbers should come in one single table. And it does come in one single table in the table of 3. So, 3 threes are 9, 3 fours are 12. So, your answer is supposed to be 3 upon 4. Got it children? It's very easy but the number should come in one single table. Remember about that. This is a new uh, step for you all. You all have to learn it. Okay. Next, the fourth sum is supposed to be 2 plus 7 and 9. So, write it once. 2 plus 7. So, again it is 9 upon 9. Isn't it? So, 9 ones are 9 ones are. So, it the answer is supposed to be 1. Got it? So, if the numbers are being divided or reduced, then only you all have to reduce. Over here, why we are not reducing? Because it is not possible. Isn't it? 4 and 5 will not come in one single table. 6 and 7 will not come. Whereas, 9 and 12 was coming in the table of 3. 9 upon 9 is also being divided by 1. So, when we get the answer 1, if the numerator and denominator of a fraction are equal, the fraction is equal to 1. Got it? So, fifth sum we will solve. That is 3 upon 15 plus 4 upon 15. So, 15, we will write it once. 3 plus 4. Okay. So, 3 plus 4 is going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 upon 15. Now, 7 and 15 cannot be divided, cannot be reduced. So, we will keep it as it is. Now, the next is the sixth sum, which are three fractions. Okay. And all the three are having the denominator as 7. So, what we can do? We can write 7 only once. And then 2 plus 1 plus one, 3. 2 plus 1 plus 3. So, 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 3 is going to be 6 upon 7. Now, this cannot be reduced or divided. So, we will keep it as it is. Now, let's move on to the 7th sum. That is 2 plus 4 plus 3. And all the 3 fractions are having 10 as denominator. Okay. So, when the denominators are same, we can write it once. 2 plus 4 plus 3. Okay, so let's write 10 first and then we will add. So, 2 plus 4 is supposed to be 6, isn't it? 2 plus 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, 9 and 10 will not come in 
one single table or it cannot be reduced divided so we will keep it as it is the next is the eighth sum which is 4 upon 9 plus 1 upon 9 so 9 we will write it as it is 4 plus 1 that is 5 upon 9 now this cannot also be reduced so we will keep it as it is and the last sum that is the ninth sum 5 upon 8 plus 3 upon 8 so we will write 8 once 5 plus 3 5 plus 3 6 7 8 okay so 8 upon 8 now this can be reduced 8 ones are 8 ones are or it can be divided so the answer is 1 and what I said for this fraction if the numerator and denominator of a fraction are equal the fraction is equal to 1 okay now problem sum has been given in the textbook you all can refer it if you all are not able to uh, see it clearly in the video so mother gave 3 upon 8 of 1 guava to Meena and 2 upon 8 of the guava to Geeta what part of guava did she give them all together all together means we need to add it ok so many times I have shown you the clue to find whether the problem sum is addition or subtraction so this is an addition problem so what is going to be the solution mother gave Mother gave 3 upon 8 guava to Meena. Okay, now this is a problem sum. That means you all have to write the statements also. And 2 upon 8 guava to Gita. Okay, so this has been given. And what we have to find? What we have to find? Part of the guava mother gave them. Okay, this we need to find. So, we know we have to find it as I have shown you the clue whether it is a problem sum or a uh, whether it is an addition or a subtraction. So, 2 upon 8. 3 upon 8 okay so both the fraction write it and what we have to add we have to add a plus sign over here now both the numerate both the denominators are same so we will write it once 3 plus 2 so 3 4 5 so 5 upon 8 now what the what was the question part of the goa mother gave them so total part of the guava mother gave to them is 5 upon 8. Got it? Now, the third question is the girl of standard 5th cleaned this much part of a field while the boys cleaned 1 upon 4th. What part of the field was clean all together? All together matlab plus. Okay. Now we are going to solve the subtraction also. So you will understand why it is important for us to recognize whether it is addition or subtraction. So first it is a problem sum. So we will write it. Girls cleaned 3 upon 4 part. Okay. And how much did boys clean? Oh, they cleaned very less. So, it is 1 upon 4 part of the field. What was the question? Part of the field cleaned all together. All together means we need to add it. So, we need to find it. Write a question mark over here. That means we need to find it. So, Addition, we have got to know it as addition sum. So, write the fraction plus we have to do. Therefore, we have to write it only once. 3 plus 1 is supposed to be 4 upon 4. That is 4 ones are 4 ones are 
that is one. Okay, so it is understood. What was the question at? Question asked. Part of the field clean all together is one. Got it? Now let's solve practice set number twenty one. Now, in problem set 21 children, same kind of sums have been given. You all can check in the textbook also, page number 28. Let's solve the first sum. Now, over here, same method we have to carry children, only subtraction we have to do. So, 5 upon 7, 1 upon 7, that means 7 is there. Let's write it once, 5 minus 1. So, the answer is 5 minus 1, 4 upon 7. Got it? Now, second sum is... 5 minus 3 and 8 is there. So let's write it together. 5 minus 3. So 5 minus 3 is going to be 2 upon 8. Isn't it? Now 2 and 8 will come in one single table. That is it can be reduced. It can be divided. So 2 1s are 2 4s are. So your equation is 1 upon 4. Fraction, not equation. Your fraction is 1 upon 4. Got it children? So you all have to watch whether the table, in the same table, the both the numerators and denominators are being divided or not. Now the third sum is 7 minus 2 upon 9. So let's write the 9 together. 7 minus 2. Now, 7 minus 2 is 5 upon 9. Now, it cannot be divided. So, we have to keep it as it is. Now, fourth sum, I will solve it over here because I am having space. Let's not waste it. So, 11, 8 minus 5. So, 8 minus 5 is supposed to be 3. Isn't it? Now, 3 cannot be subtracted in, uh, so, sorry, it cannot be divided with both the, uh, with the, both the numbers cannot be divided with the single table. It cannot be reduced. So, we have to keep it as it is and this is your answer for your fourth fraction. Now, the fifth fraction is 9 upon 13 minus 4 upon 13 so, 13 we will write it once, 9 minus 4. So, how much is going to be 9 minus 4? It's going to be 5. And do 5 and 13 come in one single table? No, it cannot be divided with the same number. So, let's keep it as it is. This is your answer. Seventh one is 7 upon 10 minus 3 upon 10. So, this is 10, 7 minus 3 is going to be 4. Isn't it? Now 4 and 10 can be divided with a single table. That is 2 2's are 4, 2 5's are 10. Isn't it? We divided both the numbers with the table of 2. So your answer is 2 upon 5. 2 2's are 4, 2 5's are 10. Got it? So the answer is supposed to be 2 upon 5. Now, the seventh one is 9 minus 2 and the denominator is 12. So, 12, 9 minus 2. So, your answer is supposed to be 9 minus 2 is supposed to be 7. So, 7 upon 12. Now, both the numbers cannot be divided with a single table. So, let's keep it as it is. This is your answer. And the eighth Last sum is supposed to be 10 upon 15 minus 3 upon 15. So, 15, 10 minus 3. Now, 10 minus 3 means 7 upon 15. Now, can we divide it? No, we cannot divide it. 7 and 15 cannot be divided with a single table. If it would have been 14, then we would be able to divide it. But 7 and 15 is not divided with a single table. So, this is your answer. Now, over here is the problem sum. 7 upon 10 of a wall is to be painted. Ramu has painted 4 upon 10. Now, this is the wall. 
ओके तो इतना वॉल है दिस इज सेवन अपॉइंट टेन ये पूरा वॉल है सेवन अपॉइंट टेन एंड ही हैज पेंटेड फोर अपॉइंट टेन मतलब इतना सपोज इतना हा इतना दे हैव पेंटेड रामू नॉट दे रामू हैज पेंटेड दिस मच हाउ मच मोर इज टू बी पेंटेड तो हाउ मच मोर वी हैव टू फाइंड सो लेट्स राइट इट सेवन अपॉइंट टेन ऑफ अ वॉल फोर अपॉन टेन पेंटेड बाय रामो और यू ऑल कैन राइट रामो पेंटेड फोर अपॉन टेन ओके सो वॉट इज बिन आस्ड हाउ मच मोर टू बी पेंटेड सो वॉट यू ऑल हैव टू फाइंड हाउ मच मोर टू बी पेंटेड ओके नाउ दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम सम दैट मीन्स यू ऑल हैव टू राइट द स्टेटमेंट ऑल्सो this you all don't have to draw it is for your explanation so it is a subtraction sum we know we have to find the remaining part that means we have to subtract it so 10 7 minus 4 is supposed to be 3 upon 10 so how much mo more to be painted 3 upon 10 part of the wall to be painted got it children it's very easy i hope this exercise is clear to everyone if you all are having any queries please let me know in the comment section see you in the next video till then take care bye